Mediterranean style UK. <laughs> it's so gorgeous today. I've just been sitting out there, jumping in, not jumping, but sitting in the paddling pool, cooling down and doing all of the programs I can to get out to you, particularly the questions and answers, which is an hour and 15 minutes of Martin asking me questions for the public that you can send around to anyone you think it may help. Uh, to awaken them and bring them back uh, in some way to help them. So, what do I want to talk about today? Taking you from the dark into the light. I was thinking about detach with love. To detach with love, that's a big one. And uh, so, I'll tell you some examples. We're living in a world where a lot of your friends and relations, I talk to people like me, you know, patriots or people that have woken up, people that know what's going on. And a lot of their relatives, their kids, um, families are still not understanding. They're still watching the news, they're still buying into a lot of stuff and they can't seem to, to, to navigate what, um, we're trying to explain here and it's kind of difficult sometimes to watch that if you know if you're red pilled it's difficult to watch it um but i learned how to detach with love um and so again it's about balance it's about finding that bit in the middle detaching with love finding that bit in the middle so it's about finding that bit in the middle um, and detaching basically with love, as I tried to explain. Um, and the way we do that is I'm going to give you a really strong example of when I did this um, after I came out of the therapeutic community. Um, I was very close to someone who was in the community with me, uh, who kind of became a little bit like a foster daughter, someone I really cared about and um, her mother died and uh, it was a huge issue obviously and i was there for her and i knew that all i could do was pick up the pieces and hold her and she would collapse in front of me and cry and but i couldn't take it on i wasn't a i wasn't going to take on um the huge experience of her losing her mother so I held her, she cried, and I was able to leave it, to give her all the love in the world and to walk away and to stay well, to stay strong in, in my healthy boundaries, which are very important to have. It's very important to have healthy boundaries because when we have healthy boundaries, we can stand up for ourselves, we can say, um, I do not consent, I am having it. But when you're detaching with love from the people that you care about, because they're just not able to be on the vibration or because they're going through whatever they're going through, then it's important because you can keep your sanity, you can keep your balance. So that's where I'm leading to something else. So taking you from the darkness of, people suffering into the light is where you detach with love. <laughs> my hat keeps getting to, I can't see my eyes. Where you detach with love uh, in this way by keeping a healthy boundary, right? And always self-nurturing. In the community, in the therapeutic community, where I started to read you little bits from Simply Amazing, Chapter eight is uh, basically the book that I'm in, Lauren Hope, down there. Lauren Hope, there we go. Um, and it, it, in, the, in the book, I explain uh, how you have to detach with love. Um, when I was in the community and um, people, would even when i had my awakening and i was really calm and peaceful they still didn't believe me they thought i was messing with them and um 
So what I would do is I'd use all this love and I'd watch them and I'd say, can you please explain to me what you mean? But some of them were still nasty and so I had to detach with love and, and nurture yourself all the time. So let me see if I can find, uh, if I hadn't encountered many of the people who brought challenges into my life and taught me tough love and how to detach with love, we wouldn't be talking right now, so it's all relative. I'm so glad we're both in this space at this time. This is Casey saying about Lauren, because I'm proud to call you my friend and to share your information and wisdom with my listening and reading audience. And I say thank you for this opportunity, Casey. If it wasn't for all those people doing what they did and the experience I went through, I wouldn't be on WMAP radio. All roads led me here today, okay? So the experiences that I tell in, in Simply Amazing Chapter 8 of where I learned to step back, to self-nurture, and to detach with love, okay? So the first thing to do in order to be able to detach, you can get the book from me, Simply Amazing, brilliant book, 11 amazing inspirational stories like Chicken Soup from the Soul. Um, or you can get it from Nashton Lane from the uh, Positivity Center run by Paul McDonald and Cecil Malaval. Um, so, and also the cards, How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World, which we do every day, which I can't find at the moment. Ah, here they are with the Sri Baba cards. <laughs> as I'm adding on, I'm doing Sri Baba for you now as well and also messages from heaven. I do these for you, so whoever watches them gets a little bit of the readings as well, the psychic readings. So self-nurturing helps you to detach with love. And, and it's not easy. It's not easy when we're living in a situation where we're at war and where we have to really stand up for the human race and ourselves. And sometimes it's not easy to just detach with love, but we do it our best, the best way we can. Okay. So let's see what Sri Baba says about detaching with love. I mean, today I've been seeing, sitting outside in the warmth with the paddling pool, it's warmed up in the sun. So I can get in there and I can cool down. It's just amazing. It's so amazing. You know, I don't need to be in the Mediterranean. <laughs> make my smoothies, um, cool down in the water, but then I come back and work. So obviously if I'm on holiday, I'm completely detaching, but I can't do that at the moment. As I say, we're at war. So let's see what Sri Baba says. He says, he who visits my Samadhi, his sufferings will end. Samadhi, sanctuary, go into peace, nurture yourself and detach. He who visits my samadhi, the sufferings will end. So it means that if you're going into samadhi, which samadhi means you are going inside, you are detaching with love, <laughs> going into yourself, nurturing yourself, taking yourself from the darkness and the madness and the chaos and the fear and anything that could be coming between you and your joy and your peace and your detaching with love. Let's have a look at um, Course in Miracles. Um, what does the Course in Miracles say? We're on a review, we're still on a review. So it says, let not my mind deny the thought of love, God, love. God is but love and therefore so am I. I am entrusted with the gifts of God, love. God is but love and therefore so am I. So very connected to detaching with love, let not my mind deny the thought of love. The minute you think of God, love, God is love to me, you are able to detach, to self-nurture in order to be able to do the job that you've been put here to do. You're able to look at other people and understand that they have other beliefs and values. And as I said, it's not easy. It's not easy when it's so black and white and we're fighting such an evil presence in, in, in our in humanity. So it's not that easy now to give people the benefit of the doubt 
uh, sometimes my mind is saying, you bloody idiots, do you want to die? That's the mind, and I'm trying not to say it out loud, but that's what I'm thinking. Bloody idiots, do you want to die? Because if you don't stand up now, if you don't change the system, do you want to be slaves forever? That's what the mind is saying. Bloody idiots, wake up. But here I'm being told, let not this mind, the mind of the ego, the mind that is scared that if you don't come on board and we don't go from 35% to 50%, then to 60 to 70 80%, how are we going to save our, our lives in humanity? And how are we going to save all these people that cannot understand and will just let themselves get sick and poisoned and you know, which again, it's not our responsibility to do. However, we have an ego, and that's where Course in Miracles is invaluable. Lesson 178 review. God is but love, and therefore so am I. So you have the mind of, of the ego that is telling you that you have to go out there and fix everyone, and if people don't agree with you, then sulk or be nasty, so they agree with you. That's the ego. However, we have the mind of God, and that's what we're talking about now, the light, okay? Going into the light, God is but love, and therefore so am I. That part of me that is God, that is love, that is connected, that is, knows the truth, knows the truth inside, this truth of spirit, not what the body's eyes are showing you, but what the heart is showing you, I am entrusted with the gifts of love, the gifts of God, so that it's graceful, it's happy, it's joyous, it protects and loves this shell, it, it, it balances the mind, body, spirit, and it detaches with love from anything it cannot cope with as well as it would like to today. It goes, that part of me says, okay, Lauren, we're going to go and sit in the paddling pool and calm, calm down and relax. Um, because if people don't want to listen or don't want to do whatever, you, you go out there and you find someone else who can convince even more people. And I have got Kate Shimarani coming on tomorrow on Movie on TV. I'm so excited. And she will convince more people because she is a real nurse. And a lot of the culture that we know, and I have 4,000 friends on Facebook, and some of them are still stuck and not understanding. Kate Shimarani, I will make sure that the interview is guided in such a way where people like that will be able to understand everything from the mouth of a nurse, a trained nurse, what is really going on and how she um, explains us that with the apple. <laughs> Uh, if you put all those poisons into an apple, you're not going to eat it. So why would you let yourself get that in your veins or in your body? Do you understand? So tomorrow I have to ask spirit to give me the intuition to ask the questions that need to be asked that the general public, from the point of view of an ordinary person walking on the street, who are you and why are you saying this when other uh, people, other nurses, other medical professionals or not. Why do you think that is, Kate? Can you explain that to the ordinary person, the 60%, because we're growing all the time, the red pills community, 60% do not understand, they don't want to understand. So coming from a nurse, a real nurse, the chances are the status of that nurse, the fact that she is a nurse, is going to carry i'd say a lot of people understood and woke up after listening to her and i'm excited about that so if you've got any questions you want me to ask her i will put that on my facebook as well social media for tomorrow at four o'clock please put them on for me right solutions only this is very similar to self-nurturing detaching with love if you have people in your life that are stuck in the problem and will not come out of the problem, solutions only. Read it.
Today, I am in a solution mode zone. No problem is too big or small. I am strong enough to look at it and find a small or big solution. Solutions only, okay? This is from How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World. If you want proper cards to read the massive message that is on here that I channel, please, you can buy them for me by PMing me or contacting me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. Uh, you can put the money into PayPal. There's a link down below. You can donate to this channel and help us to keep going. That would be really nice. And I would be very grateful. Um, or you can um, get a tarot reading from me, anything really that helps the channel to keep going. Um, and sponsor us. If you sponsor us today, well, I must say we're promoting Brad Yates. Tap with Brad, Brad Yates. And uh, that's what I'm promoting today. He is the guest of the day. And if you come on board Moving On TV, you get a hell of a lot of social media. And uh, so if you sponsor us, can you imagine what you're gonna get? <laughs> Wherever we go, you go. The logo, your logo goes on with us. And your message goes on uh, at the end of the or beginning of the programs, your advert. We will create an advert for you as well. Right, let the animals on earth support you. Feel their unconditional love. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and that is pure synchronicity. If you look at Ellie, she's completely detached <laughs> from everything. And if you look at peace, this is messages from heaven. Your loved one, whoever is watching this, let the animals on earth support you. Feel their unconditional love. They are totally detached with love unless they don't get fed and then they scream at you. But as you can see, Peace Otty Will has done a chorus of heart vision <laughs> on, on social media. He gets more views than I do. <laughs> so the animals, focusing on the animals, is bringing in more people to watch the programs that I'm doing here on Moving On TV. Go figure. Love you lots. Have a beautiful day. Hug your animals. If you can't detach, cuddle a cat or cuddle your dog. Go for a walk with your animal. Talk to your birds, your parrots, your whatever animals you have. Come on board Moving On TV and talk about your pets. So tell us about your pets. You know, we have Jaden. He's doing books in isolation this week from Australia. We have people doing their own shows. Take care. Love you lots. Keep subscribing. I'm so excited for growing. Like and share. Bye.